This video is mostly for system integrators and resellers who are pitching on projects with Skyhoy controllers. It's about Darkroom, skyhoy.com. This is a place where you can download high resolution images of our controllers, wireframe, drawings, there's icons of our controllers, and they are great for building slideshows and sales presentations and so on. So uh, let me take you there. This is uh, our usual website, but if you change www for dark room. A dark room is a place in the old days where people uh, developed photographs on from film. And uh, it is the place where you find Skyhoy controllers. So on this site, you click controllers. If you want to browse all our controllers here, you can search them up by filtering here. So if you search air, then basically everything uh, related to air is there. If you search uh, pro, then we're just filtering by pro and so on. You can also, so some of our controllers, they have a new name, like, um, let me see, we have Frameshot Pro. No, that's not an example, actually. So let's uh, let's search frame. Frameshot Plus is called MKA1 as the actual original model name and the, um, the, the one that is used technically. So you can use both. You can search MKA1 and you will get the same search result here. Anyway, let's look at the page as it is. You have all these controllers and some of them are available in variants. You have Airfly in the Atom, TriCaster, and VMix versions. And they are different by the keypad in this case. So actually, if you click this, you'll see this is the uh, Airfly version that has these labels. So if you want to put on your website, or bring into a presentation, how is the Airfly Atom version looking, then you take this image. But if you rather want to pitch on a VMix project, then you'd pick this one because it has a different keypad. Uh, some of the numbers here are the same. This is the same, but this is different, which is uh, tailor-made for VMix. So that's that's just one thing, the variants. Uh, here you have an Airfly Pro. Uh, the standard Airfly Pro has um, the Elastomo four-way buttons on the preview and program rows, while there is an Airfly Pro NKK version here. Uh, and if I click this one, I'll go straight to the high resolution image. You can also zoom in to have really nice uh, details. And of course, you can uh, scroll around with your um, mouse or trackpad and, and, and so on. These images, let's look at that. These images are available as PNGs in either 254 PPI. And uh, that's an eight megabyte download. It has a drop shadow. It's transparent and that's super awesome. Now you would probably pick this one if you want to make a slideshow because it's uh, 30, uh, 72 PPI. So uh, small in a sense. Uh, by the way, if you download this, you won't and take it into Photoshop, it won't tell you this resolution in Photoshop. It's probably going to tell you 72 PPI. But if you change it to 250 uh, for PPI and and without scaling the image, then you will see that the uh, resolution in inches or centimeters are going to uh, to shrink down. And uh, that is actually the physical dimension of the controller. So it's, it's, it's true. It is uh, actually 254 PPI if you render it at its uh, natural uh, physical size. The JPEG images has a white background. So let's just check this out. So what I said is the PNG images has transparency. So let's right click this one, copy this image and paste it into a slideshow like I just did. You see, we actually have transparency, super nice drop shadow, so sweet and easy to use in this. Maybe if you have enough space on your computer, you won't have any issue picking the high resolution one. So I would invite you to do that. And then of course you have beautiful high resolution images in your slideshows. Voila, that's super nice. All right, so let's go back to the Darkroom website. The, the JPEG images, they do not have transparency. So if you take the JPEG, then you copy this image, you paste it in here, and it will have a white background. So I'm, we're just offering this to you with transparency and without. Naturally, the JPEG images are much larger. Actually, if you look here, you see that the JPEG would be one megabyte where the PNG is eight megabytes. So somewhere between five and eight times is the size increase you find on the JPEG images of the controllers. But it's nice to have all these different formats. There are sometimes small icons. If you click on the info icon, you'll be taken over to the product information document for the particular controller. And this is something that resellers will know about because this is where you have all the information you need for your web shop, like um, MSRP product images for download. Some of these are not updated yet. 
uh, description of product, features, and so on. So this is your helpful source of information for when you are building up your web shop with our products. You can also uh, be taken directly to the Skahoy presentation on our homepage. So that's another link you can use. And then there's finally this one, which will take you over to devicesskahoy.com, where you can uh, find the panel and it will tell you uh, features about the panel, including which configurations are currently available. So there's a little bit of cross-linking between Skahoy websites right here. We find variations in black once in a while and so on. You can basically scroll through this page yourself and see all these uh, different um, variations. Now, let's find a um, controller like the Rack Control Uno. If you click the controller itself, then you are taken to this view. You have something called a hero image. That is the image you're supposed to use for promotional material. So the hero image is the official press photo then you will sometimes find application images. And this was actually not the best example I could come up with. Let's take the Ragfly Duo instead. Because with the Ragfly Duo, you can see that there is, apart from the hero image, and sometimes there are multiple of those, there's also um, apparently something called AJ Kumo and Blackmagic Design Video Hub. And these are examples of applications. So if I click the AJ Kumo, like the presentation link here, then basically all those images you just saw horizontally are now presented to you vertically. So you could print this page and it basically explains your AJ Kumo, blah, 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 blah. This is a standard uh, layout. Then you see a different view. Actually, there's a difference here. Um, that has to do with some button being pressed somewhere. I have the difficulty to see it, but right here I see I, there is something related to the preset and then finally presets on this page. But actually this is sort of explained quite often because there are multiple of these applications. If you go to the print view and in the print view, you have it uh, more designed for printing. And sometimes there's a nice little drawing alongside that will highlight certain uh, buttons and uh, colors and so on. So, um, and most of those are found inside of applications. So this is actually where you go if you want to see, okay, Skahoy controllers and uh, Marshall CV730. Uh, um, okay, there are three like case stories about that and we can go to the PDC Fly, let's do that. And then the PDC Fly with Marshall CV730 uh, 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 looks like this. So you can scroll through, there's a little bit of reading you can do and so on. But once again, if you go to the print view, you get an extended version where often, apart from the beautiful images and the descriptions, there's also a drawing that will highlight certain buttons and uh, hardware components and give you an explanation of those. So this is almost a manual that you could print in this uh, way. There's limited amount of these applications being described, but there's, there's at least room for growing this over time. So we could have a really nice library of a lot of applications of our controllers and third party devices that we control with the um, with the units. So this is really powerful, really neat, uh, nice graphics and uh, great descriptions for all of these uh, devices. So that was the applications. Let's just quickly check here. We have AJ devices like the Kumo color box. We have ATEM switches. We have a PDC cameras. We have the uh, Blackmagic Design Video Hub and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, vmix down here. So and, and for each of these, you can basically see how vmix is supported on Airfly, on Livefly, Master Key One, Minifly, Bright Fusion Live and so on. Let's go for Minifly. And we have a, a, an image of how the Minifly looks with vmix uh, specific content on it, like overlays one, two and three and four, the transition types we can choose between and so on. So this website is really uh, supporting how Skahoy controllers are flexible among many, many different brands that you can use. The Ensembles is a presentation of individual controllers, but in a modular context. Take Airfly Pro as an example. If we go in here, we see hero images. Once again, this is if you take a Crosspoint 2848 uh, and an Airfly uh, Pro, then these two controllers together can work modularly with a switcher system. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It could be any switcher, but basically these snap together magnetically. They are two individual units. They're connected to the network. One is a guest on the other one being the host system. 
And if you put these two next to each other in a presentation, that would basically be a custom control panel. Um, you can, um, so th th this is what the ensembles do. That is a presentation of that. The mega panel would be another example where obviously with the mega panel, you would find many of these um, uh, two times um, master key 48 and one of these T block uh, transition blocks over here. Um, in this case, we actually have them presented in a pretty sweet way where there is a, a, a description of how it works. And now we're in the menu and what are the different buttons and so on. So um, you will even find that for the ensembles. We have more examples of that. I think one of the popular ones would be the um, the different PC controllers like PC Pro with the Frameshot Pro. Uh, it's it's a new case, but uh, let's take the, the Panasonic uh, AW. Uh, UE70 here, where we have a Frameshot Pro next to a PVC Pro, and that one being a preset recall unit for, for this one. So we have a ton of photos that will help you to make these uh, use cases. If you go into applications, there are especially two that I want you to uh, take note of. Hero images, this is where you basically get a list of all our hero images for different um, for the different controllers. So that's a quick link. It's more or less like what you find on the front page. Uh, but you can also uh, basically, yeah, use this as an entry into that. The second thing is if you go to the unboxed uh, category, and that is interesting because it gives you direct access to a blank controller. So in this case, take off uh, Colorfly, uh, it will give you just the Colorfly, no content on it. Actually, this link is found for the Colorfly. Let's just quickly search up Colorfly here. If you click on it, and then inside of here, you see the, the, the hero images on top. Then whatever is in between would typically be a bunch of applications. And then at the bottom, you have the unboxed version of it. With the unboxed version, you also have the PNGs and the JPEGs, and you have a wireframe. And that could be useful for different reasons. What if you are programming with the Colorfly? It might be useful for you to be able to print out the hardware uh, component IDs. Those are the numbers that you're seeing here. So this could be super helpful just for, for programming reasons. You can, but also for, um, for manuals, if you want to use it in manuals, that, that's another thing. Icons is, uh, this is the icons we use for configuration inside Reactor, and that is available either as PNG or as a infinitely scalable SVG image as well. So those are also find, uh, found on the dark room. Ah, come on, zoom out. Mm. Dang. I don't know why it won't pin zoom out again, but they are all found on this website. If you have any project that you would like to document in the way you see our applications being documented here, we have tools to help you do that, like rendering those nice wireframes with colors and content on the buttons and so on. So reach out, we have the tools. We would be happy to assist you in presenting Skyhawk controllers in a super appealing and um, nice way. This is why we created this tool for our sake and for your sake in your efforts to promote your services and your solutions to customers out there.